Hey guys, Dave from Wolfhard Hobbing here, and today we're going to finish painting up Lilith. Uh, to get us started in this video, we're going to start with the belts that are along her legs uh, and her chest. So we're going to come in with Screamer Pink. Um, this will give it a nice uh, separation from all the black that's on the model, but it's not going to be an extremely bright pink. Um, so to get us started, we're just going to base coat all the straps and uh, using a fairly small detail brush just to be careful that we don't get this color on the rest of the pants. Um, so as you can see here, it's already doing a nice job separating the uh, black, uh, breaking it up so that it doesn't look too dark. There is some color in there. So just going to... Uh, do that for the chest, her choker, the strap coming down from the choker, and along the top of her boots. So here we've got it done. You can see I've also added some highlights because she has cross stitching on her pants. I've also added an Agrax Earthshade wash to the boots. Um, just to give it a little bit more depth. Um, didn't really feel like you needed to see that. So the next step is we're going to paint up her armor pieces on her legs and on her back. And to get us started with that color, we're gonna come in with Iron Breaker. Now you could start with Lead Belcher and work your way up, but um, again, I don't wanna do a ton of highlighting on these models as the details are way too small that once you throw them on the table, you're not gonna see them. So um, being very careful here because on the model, the, there's not a big separation between the pants and the shin pad or the um, knee pad, sorry. And so you need to be careful of where you're painting. You really need to look closely at these models when you're painting them. Um, but other than that, like these are great models. Uh, I know I complain about the details being a little too small on them, but other than that, you know, I love painting these models as they don't need a lot of highlights. Um, and you can get them on the table faster and anybody in the hobby uh, knows that getting all your miniatures painted is usually a monumental task but that's why I love Malifaux as there's not a lot of need to do that. But anyways being careful on this uh, second knee pad here as it is very close to that leg um, you want to make sure that you don't hit the pants. But that's pretty much about it. Uh, it's going to take, it took me two uh, coats to get a nice good base color. But that's uh, all dependent on how thick you make your paint as well. So while that's drying, we're going to come in with um, some Taloran sand. Uh, this is going to be our highlights for the boots. Um, and uh, again, simplistic highlights. Um, I find less is more, so if you do a very bright uh, contrast in your highlights and very minimal highlights, you still get the same effect as building up your highlights. Um, so as you saw, I just doing the tip of the boot there, uh, the toes, and she's got um, some major creases in the boot just along here. Just going to pick those up with some quick lines. But that's it, that's all I'm doing for the boot. Um, again, Tabletop standard, you you get the kind of idea, and uh, so wanting to get these on the table and get her into some battle reports, I want to minimi minimize the amount of work that needs to be done. So we're now going to go and uh, get the rest of her highlighted up and um, the finishing touches done. So the next part we're going to do is um, the highlights on the actual straps. And to do that, I'm coming in with Emperor's Children. Now I'm going to thin this down uh, for these straps here, uh, just so that you get control and you can build up how bright you want your highlights to go. I don't want this highlight to be too, too bright. So I'm just coming in with some very small lines just along the thigh where there's a bend in the strap. Um, and as you can see, it's very subtle, but um, you can build that up brighter uh, if you want but I want the subtle highlight just to show that there's separation that's not just one big block of pink ribbon or strap or whatever so it's just to give some separation so again um, I'm going to do this on the middle 
uh, part of the chest where the straps go around her uh, her her waist and, and then along the choker is just going to be in between the breasts. Um, that's the, the I'm not worrying about the boots at all uh, as it's very minor detail. So now I'm going to come in and we're going to highlight the um, armor pieces on her and then get started on her hair. So to get us started on the armor, I'm coming in with Ruin Fang Steel. Again, you could build this up from Lead Belcher and then this step do Iron Breaker and then another step of Ruin Fang, but uh, there's not a huge difference. I find highlighting up that way. Maybe some people do, but I don't. So uh, just wanna make this very simple paint job. Uh, and make it look good for the tabletop. So I just hit the edge of the sword there. I'm just doing about halfway down the knee pad and the shin guard as well. Um, just to give it a little bit more depth. It's hard to see on camera. There's not a big separation between the two colors. Um, so if you went with lead belcher and then just straight rune fang, you'd get a lot more uh, contrast and variation. But that's pretty much about it for the uh, armor pieces. Um, I'm just coming in and doing just the edge of this knee pad and I don't do the shin guard on the other leg um, as it would be obscured and would not have a lot of light hitting it. Uh, I also come in and I'm going to do um, just along the edge of the sword here just to give some separation from where the thicker part of the blade would be uh, to where it thins out to the sharpened edge. Again, you could build this up uh, a lot more, but it's your choice to each their own. So with all that done, we're now going to come in and uh, start working on Lilith's hair. And I'm coming in with black gray because I feel just with her, her outfit and her coat that Lilith kind of seems like a rocker girl um, or a rocker chick however you want to say it um, so I wanted to give her a dark hair with uh, some dyed highlights uh, just some exaggerated hair colors uh, nothing too off the wall but just uh, just enough to, to give her that rocker look so you want to be careful painting around the neck of the coat as well as you don't want to get any of the black on there but um, so while that's drying um, you can I'm going to come in and I'm going to uh, paint the strap on her boots um, as we're done the highlighting and then we can work on her face um, but with my paint being thinned out which is nice. I'm coming in with my small detail brush and we're just going to do her bangs. Uh, just it's modeled that way where she's got kind of ex uh, exaggerated hairlines in the bangs. So I wanted to give it uh, that look. So I'm going to come in and hit those edges with Evil Sun Scarlet. Uh, you could start with Mephiston and then do the uh, ed tips of the hair. Uh, Evil Sun Scarlet um, if you wanted to. I wouldn't go brighter than that uh, as it probably would start looking like the colors fading from her hair uh, and if that's the look you want to go for then you can take that as far as you want. So all I'm doing is I'm again just focusing on the bangs where they've kind of modeled her hair strands a little bit just to give her, her hair a little bit more of a pop. Um, you could also give her maybe like red streaks in the hair as well uh, to take this rocker look a little bit uh, farther. But I was happy with this. Uh, I really like it so I just kept it there. Um, and uh, so she's already coming together. She's uh, The model's broken up really nicely. Uh, it looks fairly dark here but uh, in person some of the colors are a lot brighter. So I'm now going to come in again with Evil Sun Scarlet and I'm going to start uh, painting her lips. Um, this part you need to be extremely careful as her lips are very, very tiny. Uh, I don't even know if you can see it on camera, but her, she has lips there and you don't want to kind of 
uh, mess it up and give her a joker look. Um, you want to have a very steady hand and get very close to the model so that you can uh, make sure that you don't mess up. And of course I'm saying this and the first thing I do is I screw up right there. I gave her a big dot right off the side on her cheek. Uh, so it just goes to show that, you know, uh, you can make mistakes, but that's why we worked with thinned paint at this point, uh, especially as uh, when I come in and clean that part up, it's not a big task to do. So you could leave her lips um, the same color as her skin, uh, but I wanted her face to kind of have a little bit of features that would show up uh, looking at it about arm's length. Um, I didn't want her to look very pale dead looking as that's not what she is she's more of like a demon or something i don't know it's it's hard to explain but that's pretty much it for her lips um again i'm going to clean up that spot on her face and uh, i'm probably going to do the eyes um but you could just leave her like that and start working on her base um which is uh what we're going to do now i did come in and i did uh, do some yellow in her eyes. It's hard to see again. Uh, I did the handle of her sword as well um, And that was just done with some Ushabti bone uh, You could highlight that up with some screaming skull and put some an agrax earth shade wash on it but I chose not to as uh, There's no real big point So the next part uh, just showing you here is going to be the base uh, with my terror tot there I'm going with kind of a grassy field look. Um, I don't know, I just like the idea of those little terror tots running around. So we're gonna base the entire uh, bottom part in Caliban green. Um, you don't need to do this step. Uh, it may not be required, as if you put on enough glue and enough flocking that uh, it should cover the base, no problem. But I like to just err on the side of caution. So. I'm just doing uh, one um, pass with this Caliban green so that if there's any flocking that doesn't stick to the base, you're not going to see this bright purple shining through. But uh, that's it. That uh, Just going to put the glue on there and f uh, put the flocking on uh, and then paint the rims of the base and Lilith is done. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching the video, following the series, uh, supporting my bat reps as well. Uh, I hope to get some more bat reps coming up soon. Um, I have my links to my F Facebook account and Patreon account in the video description below. Uh, again guys, thanks for all the support uh, for these videos and have yourselves a great day.